it's Becca. I'm here today to make a card with you. Um, today I'm using my Cricut to make the card and I am using the Create a Critter 2 cartridge and I am using this um, little witchy owl and I cut that at three and a half inches. It's super cute. So that's um, where my image is coming from. I'm also using these uh, Tea Party paper lace doilies. Um, and then the paper that I'm using is Haunted Manor by uh, Recollections. Uh, let me see if I can get that kind of in there. So this is the uh, um, stack and then these are kind of what the papers look like. And I kind of got inspired by this one here that's got the skeleton and the doily and then these are little um, uh, kind of like, uh, what do you call those, like tag things. Um, that shoot off the side so I kind of got my inspiration from there so the card base um, is gonna open this way so this whole thing is 11 by four and a quarter when you fold that in half it's five and a half by four and a quarter so that is what the base is um, now let's get started on the card so I have um, this here, this is um, four by five and a quarter, and then I just stuck it on a piece of paper and just trimmed around the edges. So it's probably just one eighth bigger. And this spider web, web paper is like a shimmery, which is really neat. It's like a metallic. So I really like that. And then I'm going to put this um, doily here. Um, I inked it up with uh, Tim Holtz tea dye distressing to give it a little more. Um, look instead of being this white and that's going to go kind of off to the side here so let's go ahead and stick that on I've got the doily on now I'm just going to flip it over take my scissors and cut off the extra there we go so now that's what it looks like it's off to the side and then I have um little owl image here and so he's so cute sorry that that's shaking my kitties are jumping up on my window which is right um, beside my desk so they jump on my desk and then jump to the window so if you if it shakes at all that's why um, so that's gonna go there but then I cut out these two little banners here and um, I did a white background because I thought that this was um, too dark and it was kind of like covering them up so again, I just cut these. This one is about an inch, and this one is just the size the banner was. It um, One of the papers has a bunch of strips on it, so I just cut this strip off. And then again, I just stuck them on white and trimmed around to give it a little bit of white background, and everything here is inked in the tea dye distress ink. So these, I thought, could kind of go... Let's lift this up a little bit. Here, there. There's my little banner sticking out. And then the owl, mm, I was deciding if I want to do an action wobble or just pop dots, but I think I'm just going to stick with the pop dots. So um, the pop dots that I use are from Walmart, and they're just like a dollar for a pack. And then they just stick on like so, and he's going to go right here. There, that's really cute. Okay, so that's kind of the base, and then um, I was thinking, I haven't decided if I want to use this yet, but I have this little stick, which you can kind of be standing on, and I think I like the look of that, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. And then from the same um, Create a Critter cartridge I got, and it's from the same cut page with the owl. You can't really see it that well on the camera, the Halloween kind of looks hidden, that's why I had glittered it because the black on the, the gray was um, too much, but um, when uh, it's in person it's a lot easier to see. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue these flat just because these pieces are so small. So that is the front of the card. and I'm just going to flip it over and um, add it to um, the orange card base. And I forgot to mention that this Happy Halloween is cut at one um, and a half inches. So, the inside now um, is going to be pretty similar. 
So I have this uh, purple card again, and again, I just ink the edges up with this Tim Holtz uh, tea dye distress ink. And then I have this circle that's cut out from my Cricut. I think it was cut out of the plant in school book, but this was just a scrap that I had lying around. Um, so if I had to guess, I, I'm i guessing I would have cut this out at about three and a half inches, um, but it's kind of hard to tell. Just because I had it, I all the cuts I make that I don't use, I just kind of keep in a bin, and then I pull them out for other times like this. So this is just going to go in the center here. And then following the banner theme, um, I'm just going to take a banner and put it on the top and bottom. So these banners are just the same thing that I'd used on the front to cut from that strip of paper. And I'm just going to go ahead and line them up, like so. And put them on, and that's the inside of my card. Pretty simple. So, that is my card. And I hope you guys are all having a great day. Bye.